Hey guys, um, I wanna have another review today for uh, the SOG Trident. Um, there's been a lot of reviews on this, you know, you can go check out other people's, but you know, I'm just posting my opinions on it. So, yeah, let's get into this. Uh, let's get in pocket clip. You get a bayonet style pocket clip, which rides very low. Pocket, all you see is the, um, just that, uh, that bead blasted finish. And that's it. You don't even on the pocket clip. That's all you see out of your pants. Um, if you want to know, this is what I did because I, I don't like the fact that it's so low. I have to always put my finger under that pocket clip and push it up. But uh, I just put this lantern here. Just you know, cost me a whole three cents probably to make it. Um, just some 550 paracord. Uh, you know, put it right through the hole. Which the hole on here for the pair, for the the landing hold is fairly large. Um, let's see what am I carrying today? It's larger than the persistence. Let's see if we can try to compare sizes. Uh, if you can see, the SOG Trident has a bigger um, lanyard hole, which is uh, pretty nice. You know, I just put this here so you can kind of get a little something to grab onto and tug it out. Um, if I remove, uh, actually, the pocket clip is. Uh, it's only tip up, but it's left and right handed, which I slipped, uh, switched it to left handed, because I'm left handed. But, um, have it there. And that is a. a Phillips? No, not. Why am I saying Phillips? Uh, Allen. Um, got some jimping on this backside here. Uh, don't know what the point of that is, but. Okay. Uh, you have a. a paracord cutter. Um,. It doesn't really work. I mean, not counting the fact that I haven't sharpened this blade since I've forgotten it, but the blade's still pretty sharp, I, I think. But, uh, it, it'll work. It, you know, if you're in an emergency and you do need something, I mean, you do need a paracord or like a seatbelt cutter, this is what it pretty much is. But, um, you know, it's going to work when you need to save your life. So, you, you know, you can't, uh, can't just you know focus on the bad stuff about this knife, but you know it, it's not. I'm not. Gonna, why am I saying it's bad? But you know it's it's not bad, but it's not good. It's all right, you know. Um, this is a uh, like I said a uh, Allen wrench construction. Got uh one two three four total. Um, just four total on uh, each side, and then it's we include the one. Uh, right here, that's five. Um, for your pivot point, it is Allen and Torx. The Torx is a lot smaller. And uh, you get some jimping right up here, which is, uh, I guess, not, it's not really effective. Uh, you know, uh, it doesn't really do anything. It's too smooth. It's a uh, aesthetic look. Um, it is a, uh, what you call it? It's a closed back design. You know? You know, it's two pieces that they mold together. Um, you get this um, gimmick of uh, I call it the gimmick digi grip. I like to call it. You know, it, it provides no traction whatsoever. I, I probably get more traction on my persistence, like on the G10, than on this. But you know, I, I just like the look of it. That's why I have it. Um, it's all right. I wish they could make it. Uh, I guess like instead of it going this way, I think they should have the digi grip going this way through the whole thing. So when you push up on it, or actually it should look like this when the blade's vertical. You know you're gonna get a lot more traction out of that. Um, but that's just a gimmick. You have a secondary lock right here, which I don't know why they put that there, but they do. Um, no one uses it, like, from the videos I've watched. I don't use it. it. I mean, there's something wrong when you have a SOG knife that deploys in your pocket. Um, it just, you hear a little, you hear a little click. That's pretty much it. Um, the only reason why uh, I haven't super glued that is because I'm not going to do that to a knife. I've, this is my most expensive knife, which is kind of sad. I paid uh, $75 for this. But... You know, I, I'm not, I mean, I wanted the plain edge version. I didn't want that serration tanto crap, you know. I, I like this. Classic look. 
but um you know the closest place I had was Bass Pro Shop so I was like you know I'll just I'll get it there um and will this fake focus like what is wrong with this come on focus I'm going to have to put this down. Um, talking about price point, um, on SOG's website, it's actually um, $103.50. So, you know, I saved about, you know, I don't know, 30, 40%. I'm not, I didn't do the best on that one. Um, this is made in the USA. So, if you're watching this and you, you love USA made knives, there you go. Um, you probably actually can pick this up on uh, websites or like. Um, one it was uh it was like sixty dollars another one that was like fifty five I don't know I think one of the most poor fish I don't know I like that website they have um I don't know I have nothing to do with them but yeah you know, it's a cheap website you, know, you get a lot of uh you get the sage for cheap I think a hundred five for the stage one but you know I'm not talking about that um on there they had it for fifty five I think but you know I paid like seventy five for it it's a big deal um Arc actuator system. I haven't talked about that yet. Okay, that's about it on the handle. Well, actually, let me open it. Um, you, this is actually probably the best jimping on this knife. So I, I don't know why. Um, and the weirdest thing is that it's on the um, it's where your uh your what ring finger, ring finger. Uh, I don't know, on your pinky. That's what they're probably rest at. And uh, you know, you get. That's probably the best. You get the most traction of that. So if you were to hold it, you now um, like this, I get in reverse grip. You would have uh, your your middle finger and your index finger just resting on that. So you're gonna get a lot of traction. But um, I like to get that. I think clip point blade uh, with os eight steel, which is fairly. It's all it's all right steel. It's not the best. It's not the worst. It's uh, very comparable to CR thirteen MOV. Um, you got just uh really really bad jimping on the blade which I the, this is pathetic this is um I, I think this is sad you know look at that that's the, I think that's probably some of the worst jimping I've ever seen I felt like a two year old did that look at this jimping this is uh, spider code does it right that's what I like about spider code they do sharpening and they do jimping right uh this will focus I won't focus. Uh, uh, there it is. Oh. oh my gosh. Okay, this is gonna this is gonna take too long. If you notice that, like how it's sharper that is, you know, I get a lot. I mean, okay, I granted there is a thumb ramp, but you know, if you open this one, there is a thumb ramp on that too. You know, this is like. This is pathetic. I think the jimping on this blade. Um, you actually get more um, out of a persistence, which is made in China. Which, uh, it's, uh, okay, you know, I'm gonna ramble too much about that. Um, it's pathetic, like I said. Um, you get two thumb studs. They're ambidextrous. I'll get the freaking note card out again. Um, they are have like, that little like uh, mountain, sh like a volcano shape. If this will focus. Yeah, it's not gonna focus. Um, th oh, yeah, there it goes. You can see that jimping on there. You're gonna get nice traction on that in order to get the blade out completely. Um, if you do not know about SOG, which I don't know who doesn't, but they are, they, uh, I guess, like their specialties like fixed blades, and I guess that's their specialty. They're known for specialty knives. I, I don't know, but um. They are, this one is an assisted opener, so the Flash one, the Flash series, and the Aegis, and uh, I think a couple other. Yeah, I think I don't know. They're, those are the three main uh, knives. They, I mean, I think are assisted opener. Um, it deploys very fast. If you if you want a good fast blade, flick that out. That's right-handed and then left-handed. I, I mean, I can think. Of, you're gonna get it out fast. Um, if you want to know how to look, close this, since this is kind of like a, if you have a Benchmade Axis Lock, this is what it's kind of like. Um, you're not gonna, it's not gonna be able to. If you pull it back, you're not gonna 
to watch the blade see it just wiggles but you're not going to have it go down completely there's going to be some tension due to the spring inside of it um, to close it left handed if you want to know you just I mean the way I do it it's pretty simple um, pointer finger push down on it or actually middle finger I don't know why I'm doing that middle finger push down and take your pointer finger and push down on the blade and make sure your thumb grabs it you're going to get a lot of tension but you're going to get it down right handed if you don't know how to open it um, or actually close it thumb just goes in that uh, arc action, on the arc lock push down and just you know, change your grip up now you're not going to it's not a pain in the butt some people like to close it two hands you know like that I, I don't blame them um, when you first get it you're going to be you're gonna, it's going to feel it's going to be really tight you know when you close it because you're going to you're not going to be used to that tension you know but uh you'll get used to it and uh um you know it's just a great it's a good knife on um, the centering on this blade is actually pretty darn close to the center i mean if you, if to you guys it might look center i think it is center um yeah oh uh, it's a great knife let's see let's see it's 3.6 ounces so it's a fairly light weight knife. Um, you do have a uh, bit of light. Um, you have no steel liners, or you have this thin, tiny plate of steel, or like aluminum, really. It's not, I don't even consider that uh, steel. Um, pretty much just side tail. You're not going to get any. Um, you're not going to get any uh, steel liners. So that's a downside. You know. Uh, if you have a spider coat persistence, which I don't know, a lot of people have those, but um, here's the size comparison. I do want to get a, a Sage One and do a, um, a review on that, or actually try to get in uh, doing a boxing on that. If I can get money in and a resilience, that would probably be a good one too, since I've done the tenacious, the ambitious, and the persistence. That would probably be the most logical one to get next. Um, but let me zoom out. Let me. Guys are going up. Okay. You know it's fairly it's on it's on it's a big knife. You know you're gonna get a lot of a uh, blade with three and three quarter inch blade. It's fairly large. Um, if you're in a this would be a good um, I guess not a hunting knife because you know you you'd uh, get all that crap up the blood and everything. Which, yeah, I, I don't hunt. I, I just collect knives. But um, you'd get all that gunk in there. And then, um, you know, it's, it's a good uh, work knife if you are able to carry a knife. Um, if your laws are under are three inches and lower, probably like, you know, New York or New Jersey or something like that, probably couldn't have this. Um, California, I know, wouldn't have it. Uh, pain in the butt. You, p you probably couldn't even carry a spider co bug. Uh, but yeah, um, it's a great knife really recommend it. Um, it is a fairly large knife if you if you need a larger knife. So um, yeah, it's, it's, I mean yeah, I, I don't know what I'm talking about now. I'm just kind of rambling and kind of talking for no reason. But um, hope you guys have a great day. Um, thank you for watching my videos if you watch. Um, yeah, see you guys later.